Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Slippery Hammer here, and well, let's get straight down to the tally face more, shall we? I've tried to do another little testing here, and uh, I haven't actually viewed how it looks myself yet. Well, this should make things interesting. Thank you, Garris. So let's see here. Uh, nothing, nothing. All right, let's skip a bit forward, shall we? Okay, and come on, come on, and here we go. Oh, dear God. Right, well, um, hmm, <laughs> this is not exactly what I wanted it to be, but uh, there is actually, oddly enough, this actually is a little bit better. I know, believe it or not. It is actually a little bit better. If you look at her eyes, you can see that they are more, well, fixed. In the sense of, they are not popping out of their eye sockets anymore. They are actually staying put. And they are looking around and everything like that, so that is pretty good. If you look away from the sort of weird, triangular, pixelated face she's got now, that, that can be resolved. That can be resolved, no problem at all. So what have I actually done here in order to get her to be this sort of hunchback, weird creature? Well, what I did here was that I went in and had a look at her bone structure. As you can see from previous footage, her jaw movement wasn't exactly natural, to say the least. She was opening her mouth a little bit strangely. So what I did then was that I went in and had a look at the bone structure to see if there was anything wrong. And when I imported Tali before, she actually went back with her old bone structure, which is not surprising, I suppose. Um, so what I tried to do here was to import it with the new bone structure. It is the same amount of bones, or let's call them controllers then. It's the same amount of controllers as in... The original mesh. The only thing I've actually done is that I've moved them so that they are corresponding with her new head's location. I think that's the best way to describe it. Um, hopefully you can see something in the material here in the background that I am editing in afterwards so you can see for yourself what the difference is. Unfortunately, it seems that when I import this newer and more working tally, it seems to go a bit... well weird. But nevertheless, I think we can work around this one way or another. Now this will take me more time, obviously, and uh, this is time that I do not have at the moment, because I actually barely just managed to find some time now to sit down and give this another go, and trial and error and everything. So, um, this is a quick little update. You can see that it's still here, the mod. And uh, it is going in the slightly right direction, oddly enough. And I think that's all that I got to say for this video. Uh, you've seen some progress, well, progress-ish, let's call it that, on the tally face mod. So um, I hope you're all staying tuned for more information when I have it. And thank you for being very patient with me. But I hope you all had a good time watching a bit of um, tally weirdness, and I hope to see you all in a future video. Good luck and have fun.